In today's video, I'll be ranking each gun Apex Legends from worst to best. How we're going to do this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to have a tier list, and of course, I'm going to add each gun into the tier list from D, C, B, A, and S. And of course, the best guns will go on the best tier, and I will explain why for each one of the guns. Now, with the hop-ups, though, I'm going to add the hop-ups separately, and they're going to move up from the category. So maybe a gun was like a C rank, for example, here, it may go to A rank just due to a hop-up. So... Let's get right into this. So the first gun on my list is going to actually be the P20. And the P20, I'm going to rank it as D tier. And here's the reason why. This gun is really good right out of the game, start out of the game because how much damage you can get on it. Most times how you're going to use this thing is you're going to be dragging your mouth down when you actually shoot. So you can see I'm going to drag it down. And of course, I'm going to have to spray down with that. And of course, when you slide too, you're just going to do the exact same thing. But usually most times around, you'll be using this gun just early game. You won't be using it late. Now, the only time I could see it really be used late game was because now they have the hammer point because the gun with just by itself is this D rank. But when you put the hammer on this thing, it actually becomes just an a rank weapon just because how strong this thing is the damage output is ridiculous and also you don't really have to do too much too when you shoot it like as long as you hit body shots like top body to headshots it does ridiculous damage on output which is just kind of nutty and then if you think about it like that you get 21 rounds in it too and then of course it gets the bonus when it does damage it does 50 percent more damage when the person has no armor so you crack it with another weapon then you start using this and like four or five shots in they're knocked like that in itself is ridiculous so that's why i'm like rating the actual hammer points just an a tier weapon so the next weapon we'll be rating is of course going to be the longbow the longbow is actually a d tier weapon right now just because of the fact that it's actually a craftable weapon right now and i my reason why for that too is why i'm rating it so low just because of that reason because i've been asking a lot of apex players if they craft the longbow or flatline recently most times they usually reply with i haven't had the opportunity to because of the fact most times you're using a replicate you're gonna probably just be crafting bats and that's gonna be your main focus or you'll be making some health and stuff like that so these weapons have been just not being used as much now i will say though if this gun was not in actually the replicator i put it in c tier because it does pack a hit now it's hit fire is not existent i will quickly say that like if you somehow got good with you could probably use it but uh nah you're usually gonna be scoping in you have to usually find an opportunity to use this gun so it makes it really hard to use really late game but maybe on the maps that are wide open you can use this early on to get some picks off and stuff the next weapon on our tier list is actually going to be the eva now the eva is actually a deer tier weapon right now it's not really that strong it is meta but it, it's not really that strong like okay if you're just gonna normally shoot people like this sometimes you may get a shot off where it's just like only eight damage if you hit outside the spread because usually you'll be moving around a lot with this gun so if you miss your spread just by a whole lot you're probably not gonna get that much damage off usually your enemies are always moving now the only time i would really use this gun if you're doing a close range fight and you're able to crouch fire because crouch firing is the spray pattern for this one is best and then you can hit your shots off that way you can reload you can slide crouch fire and you can just back off and do the same thing again now this thing has no range of course it has a little bit of range but it's not like insane at a certain point it just gets like useless but honestly this gun is just like a d tier weapon just because of the fact that it's just not that good unless you're actually doing your hip fire and hitting your spread on it that's the biggest thing with it still a good gun though now the next gun we'll be rating is actually going to be the devotion the devotion is actually a pretty decent gun the problem with it is the charge up time it's like not that good it's the same thing for the havoc where it does really affect the gun and this gun is definitely a d tier weapon for me right now now with it's actually turbo boost and all that stuff i'd probably place in the a tier but the thing with that is most of the round you'll never usually get a full kit devotion because usually if you get that it's like oh somebody already had it on their body or maybe you find all the pieces when you're fighting or yeah no usually it's all the pieces on one body but uh usually that's really really rare this thing's actual like hip fire and stuff like that it's honestly just like easy mode for apex like you can just shoot start beaming people but usually there's a ramp up time so you usually want to like hold a corner like pre-fire be pre fire before you peek the ball so that way you can actually get the damage off like right there i was doing quite a poor job at that but uh yeah no but with everything else though if you were actually able to get the booster it actually just starts shooting right out of the gate and you just need to pull the spray down because the spray down is gonna be a lot more hard to control. Usually you wanna like pre-fire it, like just do light this amount of time. Like you don't wanna go all out, but uh, usually you wanna go out if you're in close range. Like if I'm in a close range fight with this thing, this thing is nutty with its turbo charger. Like I can start like beaming like this and I can control the spray and not have to worry about like the backlash because of the fact I'm really up close. Now, if I was further away from them, the spread gets a bit weird. So you gotta be careful. Usually you wanna just like crouch down when you're shooting with it. But uh, yeah, besides that though, 
but if this turbo booster definitely put it in a tier by itself though definitely a d tier weapon now for the havoc of course the havoc's gonna be a d tier weapon as well usually i'll put like the havoc and devotion in the same tier because they're kind of just the same weapon just one has a little bit more ammo in the mag compared to the other one but usually this gun is pretty good if you get out of the gate i wouldn't use it late game it does some pretty good damage but usually there's a charger time meaning that you have to like of course pre-fire your angles like usually okay let's do that for example here you should want to hold an angle and pre-fire with it this gun isn't bad but just by itself it's definitely a d tier weapon you really want to use really wouldn't use actually but uh you could use it late game if you got everything now you could get the terrible charger same role apply you probably won't get this if you do get this you could probably use a low ball and get everything and it's actually kind of nutty as long as you get your hips off and your hip fire and all your other shots it's just a stupid weapon to just smoke kids with you can do cross maps too because like the spray you want to kind of drag it down you can kind of tap fire with it but it's not like something like the hemlock where you can do that and just broken the next weapon we're going to actually rate is actually going to be the re45 now this gun honestly is literally just an r99 but in a pistol variant the only thing with this thing is that it's kind of like not a high magazine meaning that you're not going to probably one clip kids but it's still an insane gun because let's show you here if you hit fire with this thing it's pretty decent it's not too bad but it's pretty good and of course you can drag it down on the body too the only thing is you got to probably drag it to the bottom left like you see here drop bottom left and it's perfectly fine with the spread i'm gonna do that again you have to drag bottom left and then it just like does that so usually you want to drag a bottom left the mouse and then you just smoke it that way that's kind of the thing with it some of these guns just have like their own spray pattern like the evil for example here but this gun alone by itself is definitely just a like a c rank weapon it's not like d rank it's definitely a little bit above compared to the p20 because you can use it late game and if you get your access to the hammer points the hammer points oof, make this thing a nasty thing like this makes this makes it literally a threat like the sound of that alone is like intimidating but hitting your shots with it smokes kid so you can use this late game you can actually crack people's armor but most times around you won't probably use it to crack people's armor you usually want to get the crack off with a different gun then follow up with this gun smoking them because like the bullet magazine only takes four or five shots and then bang they're knocked easy it's just a, such a stupid gun with the actual hammer point so gun by itself c tier with the actual hammer point in itself it's definitely an a tier weapon with of course the p20 just because of the output damage when the enemies cracked now our next weapon is actually the mozambique now the mozambique by itself is kind of a really good gun most people kind of underrate it but in actually in the competitive scene it's so nutty because you can literally play with this and actually win end game fights or use an arenas and use this as your only gun there's actually like a youtuber who does that and he's like a predator he only uses this thing because how stupid it is now it also got a hammer point too so that makes it even more broken so let's just show you it by itself by itself it's definitely a c tier weapon but it can be like used late game just because look at the damage how consistent that is it's always like a 50 even cross map it does pretty good and the spread is actually kind of insane like look at that right here 43 43 and then you get a headshot off it does a little bit less so you want to usually go for body shots and then we're cross mapping and aiming in it's still pretty nutty that it's completely fair how consistent the damage is now of course this thing can be using like arenas and it's absolutely insane then if you get access to the hammer point this gun goes automatically into honestly the a tier because of it. most of the hammer point guns are just gonna go to a tier because of the fact that how like strong they are so now like if we start aiming in we start fighting it it goes to 60 damage this gun with actually the hammer point goes in the a tier just because like the output damage is still insane right you can shoot cross map and everything the hammer points are definitely gonna help it be more consistent and stuff too like you hear let me go back to that headshot again yeah there's a little bit more now because of the hammer points but if you get to crack them and then you use this, you get two perfect shots off, it's gonna knock them. Now, usually you won't get two perfect shots off with this thing. You will usually get yourself a nice like three shots off and then of course they're gonna get knocked from it. But you can see right here how consistent it was even with that spread, you just like slide in, one, two, three. Usually you usually can hit one of the two shots. And then of course the third shot, you're just gonna have to move around with and just get the spray off and then, you know, you pop them. But this, oh God, this thing, this thing with the hammer points, dude so it's so strong so strong our next weapon we'll be rating is actually the sentinel so the sentinel itself is honestly a c tier weapon it is really really good but usually with this gun you'll usually be using it early on you can use it late game when you charge it to crack people it does a considerable amount of damage like 70 even from afar 70 and if you were to try to get a headshot usually it's going to be a lot harder unless you're like versing a pro or a pro using it it's going to be like 140 110 it's just insane now usually yeah, i don't really find opportunities to shoot this thing to get those kind of shots off usually the reload time takes a bit so it's going to take like a hot second before you can actually get an angle off and they're going to move around so it makes it a lot harder 
so usually you wouldn't really use this weapon late game because in fact you probably switch it for like the r301 the car the flat line or well flat line unless you get it from the body of course but uh it's still decent and if you of course charge this thing if you charge it i would honestly put in an s it's like a mini kraber now usually you'll only rarely charge it when you see the opportunity to because using a cell is like kind of expensive but not too expensive but late game it gets a bit iffy because you're probably going to be lot healing a lot late game unless the teams are not pushing you but if you're playing ranked you're usually getting always pushed so when you have an opportunity to heal you can take advantage of it and cells are really huge so you can see right here with the damage output on top of the cell it does a lot but it's honestly kind of sometimes not even worth it unless you're doing early game and you charge it and then you can like smoke somebody cross map and knock them but uh yeah no this gun is still pretty good just not 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 at the top the next weapon on our list is actually the l star the l star is honestly a b tier weapon it's the only other b tier weapon we have on our list here but this gun is kind of like one of those guns that's like pretty good and pretty bad last season it was actually amazing they actually decreased the spread though of the bubbles so it doesn't have like that big of a spread anymore when you hit a target but it does do some considerably good damage and of course this gun when you do shoot it has a burnout effect meaning that if it burns out all the way of course it has to cool down but if you actually just use it little by little you don't actually have to reload at all and you don't have to worry about the burnout because you're just slightly taking the cap off every few seconds and you know it's pretty good not gonna lie the all star is one of those weapons like you sometimes don't use but when you do pick up it is kind of nutty and that's kind of the nice thing about it and it's hit fire is not that good but the zoom in is definitely worth out but if you get close it does a lot of damage overall it's a great b tier weapon so our next gun we'll be rating is actually the alternator i probably said that wrong hopefully i didn't you guys can roast me in the comments if that's the case the alternator is honestly an amazing weapon since it came back to game from the airdrop i feel like in the airdrop they should have just left it there because how fun it is when you get it because the this the uh, destination rounds or something like that i said that wrong disruptor rounds but you know those rounds stupid very much op but uh yeah now this gun since it came back it's been a lot of fun the hip fire on this thing is actually really really good like you can slide around with this thing and still hit your shots if you hit fire usually how you want to shoot this thing if you're shooting an aiming aim, aim down of course with your mouse that way you pull your mouse down that way you actually hit your shots off like even from afar you get some damage off so like if i'm actually over here and i'm hitting my shot to get the spray down still does good like the output damage isn't that high but the consistency compared to most smgs is actually pretty good if you get good with it now of course the hip fire of this thing is actually kind of nutty because actually how you want to use this in a fight is like let's just say the enemy's bouncing around in your face and you will just start to crouch walking you just want to start crouching consistently repeating and then the damage of course to get hit and it's just going to pop them now i can honestly use this gun late game like this gun late game is actually kind of insane just because how consistent the actual spray is so you can hit it you can crack people you can pull a hammer point weapon or you can pull your main weapon an r99 and smoke them now of course, if I was to rate this weapon right now in the meta, it isn't like insanely high. It is definitely on the upper tier. Let me actually double check. I placed this at something stupid. Oh yeah, I put this at B tier, I forgot. Uh, yeah, I was like rating this just based on like its skills alone and stuff like that in lobbies. You can definitely use this like game as a B tier weapon. It's not like the best weapon, but it's definitely like considerably one of the better B tier weapons. So the next weapon we'll be actually checking out is actually the bow check. Now the bow check is honestly pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It is definitely a B tier weapon. It's not like insane, but if you're like a rat, you can use it because of the fact that it doesn't make too much sound in the actual lobby. So when you shoot it, you won't probably get hear it. Like unless you're like paying attention to the arrow where the arrow comes from most times that's not usually the case it's usually preoccupied but it's definitely you want to use something as a rat because how good the damage is you get a pick off from it get a nice rp out of it or you can just use it in a fight now in a fight it's not too bad because if you hit your shots with the spray it's kind of like weird but usually you don't want to usually do that like what i'm doing right now you want to usually do it when you're close up because like if you hit them it's pretty good not gonna lie it's pretty nutty and you're able to just constantly quick pull it back like quick pull back for a few seconds it does a considerable amount of damage and it's really consistent too on top of it it's definitely not like in the past where it used to be really broken it's not like a a tier weapon it's definitely like the b tier just because of that reason alone but it's still like pretty good if you want to use it but with all the actual turbo charges and stuff like that, all the boost is on it um it's still not that great it doesn't really assist it in any way to be completely fair with you guys i don't really use that honestly or not most times around because most times they don't really get the opportunity to actually do that so i wouldn't see a lot of people actually using the boosters on this weapon but still pretty good not gonna lie it's pretty good the next gun we'll be looking at is actually the PK or Peacekeeper. The Peacekeeper is honestly pretty good in the meta right now. And actually, I would rate this a B tier weapon because of the fact that, like, you can charge this thing up and does a lot of damage right now. 
and of course if you get the hammer point on top of it it won't affect that gun too much it won't like move it to any other tier it still stays in the b tier just gives it much more of a chance in late game meta because like you're not having to wait a few seconds to actually charge this thing up to get a shot off because like, you can actually now put this charger on and of course when you shoot this it will make the speed time fast the charge like look at that look how fast that is that's, that's way way faster like if i take this thing off look at look it's a few seconds like like a few few seconds now if we put that on though it charges way faster and it's way more consistent now of course if you use this thing too and you shoot your shots and you actually hit your shots of course you can actually crouch and it'll start charging along the process so like you start shooting again awesome then you slide into a fight you actually get your slide off it'll charge the ammo and then you don't have to do anything because like it's gonna automatically reload with the booster loader loader Ugh. can't say anything but uh yeah no definitely a b tier weapon even with the boost all over but i still think like it's still a really great weapon now the next weapon we got ourselves is actually the mastiff the mastiff is actually a b tier weapon right now because like most times around i can see people using this in a fight now you got to keep in mind that when you use this in a fight usually you're going to be sliding to a fight zooming in on the guy because you usually want to zoom in when you shoot this thing because you want to hit dead center of the opponent because it's actually a really good gun like you usually don't want to do this because like most times you do that you won't usually get that much high damage output off but if you aim in with it, that's a lot more damage. And the good thing about this too, late game fights, is that like if you need a shotgun and you like using shotguns, the match shift has the best chance of actually winning you a fight. Because if you let's just say, for example, here one, two, and use all your rounds, for example, here. So you use your all of your rounds, for example, here. And then of course you just need one more shot off. You can literally just reload it and it'll shoot. Because it doesn't actually need anything else besides you loading in one round for the animation and then you can shoot that round and knock the guy because of it i've actually done that quite a bit in the competitive scene and honestly it's just so nice because you have that opportunity to take a shot even though you know you're gonna win that fight like you don't even have to wait for the fully reload you know that you're about to win you know the guy's really low you take that shot bang and then he gets knocked it's just like mm so good the next gun we'll be rating is actually the charge rifle the charge rifle is a b tier gun but honestly could be considered an a tier gun just because how broken it is in the meta most times in the competitive space you'll use you'll see people use this just because how stupid it is like look at this look i can literally shoot from right here that's the percent there's a target right there all the way in the route slide over there and i just hit them because of the fact it's just a giant laser pointer. Now, if you're able to consistently hit your shot by dragging it down on top of their body, it does a considerable amount of damage. And most times around, you can usually crack someone with this or do half their shields up to even knocking them with it if they're low enough. And that in itself gets like, that's some high value out of it, but it's definitely not something you can really use in a like late game fight, like up close you can, but most times around you usually be sliding off into course. Like it's one of those things where most times around you won't hit them for that much. You might hit them for like 50 each time, but uh, yeah, usually I would use this only for long range fights to get some picks, do some damage off, maybe push in with a different gun, then, you know, smoke the guy, of course. But uh, yeah, no, this gun definitely eight tier. It's just insane. It's just an insane gun. I really just like roasting it in competitive now the next gun we'll be ranking is actually the devotion i'm uh, not devotion my bad rampage sorry about that rampage is honestly such a silly gun because the rampage is just really broken the meta right now like just because of the turbo charge not turbo charge the like booster with of course the thermite it does a lot of damage like in itself it's pretty good right and if you actually practice with this thing too in a fight you can actually crouch mid like fight like like, like let's just hit here you're you just want to usually do this stand up crouch stand up crouch and you hit your shots off this gun's like spray pattern is hard to control but once you get good with it you can actually use it in late game fights as you can clear more amount of damage like just by itself it's insane and i've actually used this late game fights in one with it and of course if you have an opportunity you can charge it too and that will make it even more broken because now it's gonna make it faster it's gonna do a little bit more damage of course and you actually i don't think it actually does more damage you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but um yeah, no, this thing even one boost is insane. And then, of course, like you can use this cross map too. Maybe like the guy's cross map and he's running away from you and you've already charged your thing mid fight. It does like you can hit them because it's gonna be a lot more faster to hit them with. It's not like the shots are gonna just instantly drop down, slowly hit them. It's more like, yeah, they're gonna be fast. They're literally gonna hit your target and it's gonna do a considerable amount of you might even knock them. Like, I've actually like knocked a ton of people in the game with this and then just follow up or like smoking them afterward, even if their shields are cracked. Because just because how strong this weapon is, you can follow this up like with an R99, R301. You can run all heavy with a flatline. Well, probably with not with the flatline right now because of like scrappable. But it's just an insane gun. That's why it's honestly in the B tier. So the next gun we'll be ranking is actually the triple take. Now the triple take is honestly such a meta gun right now. Like it is so broken because of the fact that it got just a hop up too recently. And I'll be ranking that with it. With the hop up in itself, it definitely does stay in the A tier. 
but uh the gun itself is still ATA as well as like I just said right there it's just insane because literally it's a shotgun like watch this watch this you don't even have to do anything you can like crouch aim down hits them it's literally dead on like look how accurate this is while you're just moving around or standing still it literally just shoots straight because it's literally just a laser now you can also use this cross map too to get a pick like you actually see pro players that actually use this like the crack people or use it with it and then they'll pull out their other guns start smoking them and if they have to they'll actually pull it out mid fight and then like just shoot them like that and then knocks them because this thing is literally just a shotgun sniper only if this thing like had like a booster on it and do some other little things it'd be insane but uh yeah no it's it's just straight up nutty like look at this okay now with the actual kinetic feeder as well of course it's gonna make it just a little bit more powerful on top of it but the best thing about this kinetic feeder is not because of the fact that it actually does that and now let's consider a shotgun like the pk you can actually slide and charge it meaning that you get your hip fire with it and do a lot more damage because now it's charging while you slide it so it just it's just insane because like of course you're gonna zoom in faster and do more damage because it actually charge ups faster now like the pk but then on top of that you can now slide with it too and hip fire mid fight with it when it reloads you kidding me this thing was already strong already strong in the meta and with it just like the oh god the feeder mm. just it's just insane this is such a broken gun to use in the meta right now so the next gun on our list is actually the 3030. The 3030 is such a busted gun. Like even competitive is insane because the damage on this thing is so consistent. It does like from 35 to 44 to 50 as long as you hit your shots. Like body shots, already 54. You can see right here. But you can actually see the damage is really consistent. Even when you shoot the lower ways and you hit them, it does still a considerable amount. And now the thing with this thing too is this hit fire is actually insane because if you stand still with this gun, Usually you can hit them with it. Now, usually you want to hit fire from a little bit close to like mid range. It's guaranteed to hit if you stand still. So that means you can slide into a fight, move around and all that stuff. Then all you have to do is stop for a second. You'll hit it. Move again, stop again, hit it for a second. Now you can just rinse and repeat and you'll be fine. Like you can jump around and all that jazz, do this and then stop, hit. It's a really broken gun. I'm not gonna lie. Like this thing I've used in competitive a little bit. I haven't, it's not like my huge gun. It's not like something I play with a whole lot, but if you get really good with it, you can just do so much work with it and get so much value with it. This gun is literally a really great A tier weapon. Even with the booster on top of it, it makes it pretty broken. I'm not gonna lie. The damage goes a little bit higher. It's nothing too insane, but uh, yeah, no, it's just, usually you can find this booster pretty much anywhere because this thing goes on the mastiff you know on the mastiff it doesn't make the mastiff go up any rank but it does really help the gun in itself do a lot more work next up we got our boy the prowler the prowler is honestly such a busted gun i'm not gonna lie this thing is really good like hip fire on this thing right out of the gate does an insane amount of damage usually you won't be aiming in with this gun mid fight you can but most times around you usually be fighting with this thing you know getting that hip fire off doing a considerable amount of damage like look at that that in itself was nutty. This gun is literally an A tier weapon just because how strong with it, well, well, how strong it is. And of course, the hemlock's kind of the same thing where we actually get the hemlock right now. I actually, show you guys that this is kind of like the same kind of idea where like you can use these guns and like smoke kids mid fight and then hip fire with them. Usually, people have their preference of which one they prefer using hip fire. For me, I prefer the actual hip fire on the hemlock over the actual hip fire on the prowler, but usually they're both really insane nonetheless. And of course, with the hemlock, it actually gets its booster loader for it, meaning that it reloads faster, of course, but also on top of that, you can overload. So like, for example, here I can now reload. I'll get a little bit more ammo in the mag than I normally would, which is pretty awesome. Now, the good thing about this too, about the hemlock is that if you play speedball or play paintball and you're a fan of tap firing, because I actually play a lot of speedball, you can actually switch it to single fire and it makes the rounds much more consistent and much more easy in control and you can start doing tap firing with it you just start tap firing like crazy and honestly makes it a fully auto look, look at that you cannot tell me that does not look like a fully auto right like look, look. we go back burst whop, reload then we change it to single start tap firing like i do in speedball goes fast it's really really good i i, I honestly now prefer it with uh tap firing with this thing just because like of course you hit your mouse fast enough does a lot of work in a short amount of time. So yeah, both of these guns, definitely an A tier, even with the booster loader, or what was it? Fast loader. Just, it's still an A tier weapon, just amazing. Now, our next weapon we'll be rating is actually the R99. The R99 is not like a super crazy weapon. It's not an S tier weapon for me, at least. It's definitely an A tier weapon, and I'll explain reasons why in a bit here. But this gun is insane. You can use a really end game, mid fight, late game. You can, you can use it really anytime in the game. Like this gun is like one of the few guns in the game I would always pick up just because of that. Because look at this, you can just like unload, drag down, smoke kids with it. And of course you fight them up close and you get the laser down, you drag to the left, 
Move your mouse, drag down left. Ooh, this thing does work. This thing does work. This is just one of those guns like you can one clip people with if you hit all your shots perfectly against like red with a full gold bag, but usually you won't get that opportunity. But usually what you'll actually do with it is use this thing, fully destroy someone, then you'll whip out another gun and destroy them with that gun instead like the R99 flatline or a different gun that has a really good hip fire and it does its work and then smokes. Like this thing, it's this is a broken gun. You can I love this thing. This is like the one of the few guns I absolutely love. And you can actually tell too I love this gun because of the fact that I got the Outlander Avalanche skin. Because you guys don't know there's a few skins in this game for certain guns that actually make the sight better. So this site actually has a way nicer clean iron sight. It's better than like most of the ones you can get in game. So you literally can buy one of these skins to pay the wind skins, put it on top of it, and then it makes it even better just because of the fact that I I, 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 I think like EA knows what they're doing when they put like a really OP gun, give it a really nice skin with a good iron sight. You probably know this thing's broken if that's the case because like there's only a few guns that actually have like custom iron sights like this like the wingman uh and r301 a few other guns like that but yeah no this is this is busted next up we got our first s tier weapon our first s tier weapon is actually the r301 the r301 is one of those guns you're going to see everyone in the actual player base to use just because how good it is like of course the ammo in itself and the output damage is insane the consistency from shooting up close hip firing to just being far back and shooting them across the map is just really good like you can do a lot of work with this too and if you hit all your shots across map or like half your shots you're usually gonna crack someone or even down someone from it and then you know you can smoke and do work now this gun you can definitely one clip people with if you hit your shots perfectly you can slide into a fight smoke them do their thing but you probably want to smoke straight in but you can still like do that and there's a lot of work and you get like a ton of value out of it now i love this just because how much flexibility you have with this gun just from close far mid anywhere it's like an st weapon just because of that reason and you can use it pretty much any scenario now for our next s tier weapon we actually have the flat line now this gun is honestly still really good in the meta like it, it is definitely worth the crafting like i would never craft a longbow i would craft this over the longbow any day when i had the opportunity to because this gun in itself is just so broken like okay this gun is like little the r99 the only difference between this and the r99 is this one gives you a little bit more control with its shooting so like you, you can just shoot down and get the spray and you hit more of your shots and that's really about it now it doesn't it has like one less bullet in the mag but everything else is pretty much the same compared to the r301 so you can use this thing and smoke people with so i actually prefer this over the r301 because i actually got good with it and now i can kind of like drag it in like this and it's actually pretty nice to hit fire usually when this have fire you want to crouch down and keep snarking down consistently and then uh you know it's really good it's like just a really nice thing now the only thing with this is, of course it is a craftable weapon meaning that it is still like s tier but the thing with it is if i was like to actually give a real statement i'd probably say this is a tier just because it's crafting but it's just overall a great gun that i can use late game to actually get some damage off with the r99 or r301 and you know finish them with this so awesome their next gun the s tier is actually the wingman with its pay the wind skin and all that jazz the wingman is just such a great gun because as long as you're hitting your shots and getting the value out of it for the damage you're gonna be cracking people with easy because most times you're gonna hit mostly 41 to 45 to sometimes even 50 output damage and the damage is really consistent like the 30 30 and the site you can get on with some of them are actually really broken for like the pay the wind sites so the only time this gun is like not good in the S tier is like if your teammates using it and they're not hitting the shots because like if you're not doing that, like you're not doing like the 40, 45, 45, 45, and you're just missing, you're losing so much potential value for your teammate to actually win the fight. So you gotta practice this thing. And then if you use this thing a lot, you can use it in close range to actually hip fire people. Like for example here, the tap crouch, and I of course like hit them with it. I've actually been practicing with this a lot as you can tell. Uh, and it's just really nutty. Now you're moving around too. It's not too bad as long as you stand still for a quick sec. It's like the 30-30 where you slide into a fight, stop still for a second, and you can usually hit your shots with it. It's just a really great overall S tier weapon. Now, the good thing is it's not craftable compared to the Wingman. This is like the only weapon with heavy ammo that actually is an S tier weapon for me. Like nothing else is in the S tier weapons besides like the car. Speaking of the car, it is our next S tier weapon. Now this gun, honestly, in itself, if it didn't have the opportunity to switch between ammo, like right here, this gun, you can grab both heavy and light ammo and switch between the two, meaning that you have a lot more opportunity to win fights because of the fact that you can be a lot more flexible with your ammo over it. Like this gun by itself without the, that ability probably would be an A tier weapon. Just do the fact that this thing is actually 
compatible with two. Oh, I can't say anything. Compatible with two different ammos makes it has a lot more opportunity to win fights, and also means you can be a lot more flexible. Meaning that you could run all heavy, but then you can switch to heavy light mid fight. Like maybe you're running with this like an R3 one, you could R run all. Uh, light ammo but then you need to switch ammo mid fight because you can't find any light ammo you can switch to heavy because this thing can reload it into that so that's pretty good i'm not gonna lie and the reload time between both different animals is pretty much exactly the same and the spray of this thing is kind of insane too because like, you can literally just drag it to the enemy and of course downward and you just start fragging i prefer the actual hip fire on this one over the r99 because the actual spray is a lot more consistent and you practice it a lot you do a lot more damage with it over the r99 and you can have potential one clips which is fun like you can literally potentially one clip a guy who has blue which is pretty good and you could potentially one clip an actual purple guy if you have like the purple mag you probably wouldn't be doing it with like the gold mag you could but uh yeah no you, like, you could literally put this thing away and then like reload it of course within the first few seconds and then start using it again because you know this is an overall great weapon just this thing this thing i'm so glad they added this into apex because honestly i'm glad they did i love the versatility of this thing now you might be wondering what happened to the heirloom weapons and when am i going to rate them well actually i'm not going to rate the heirloom weapons at all because these guns in themselves are considered their own broken tier so i'm not going to be like doing anything too crazy about them like the vaults the newest one to the edition i'd say the vaults like really good in itself but since it became an heirloom weapon it's just even more broken it's just like it's literally like you cannot tell me that this thing is not smoking people this thing is literally going you like you pick this thing up same thing with the spitfire you're using this you're starting to spray people and literally turn it on the easy mode because like how consistent the aim is how consistent the output damage is when it's up to 50 to 70 just like all these guns are just in their own broken tier because how much fun they use them and like you can one clip people in the head like this thing craver dude i love the craver now because this fact that just hits me in the head knocks him instantly this is just a stupid gun but those are all the gun ranks for me in apex legends from worst to least let me know did you guys like my rating what do you guys think of my rating let me know in the comment would you rate something different i'd love to know from you guys if you did enjoy today's video make sure to smash the like button get subscribed so you not miss any of our apex content and of course don't forget to check us on twitch we do stream there of course every monday wednesday friday there'll be a link down below to our twitch channel until then i'll see you guys for another video g-man out